starships in bottles, handmade. What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No, definitely not. A hamburger is what I need. Get me a hamburger and I'll see what I can do for you. Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? Eh, it's not too bad. Long hours, low pay, boss is a jerk. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move. But I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. See, sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad and I can't open a new package of hamburgers till they're gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. <coughs> this hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh... Gotta go! <gasps> Oh. oh, I feel better now. I need to get into the factory to get my prototype doll back. Pizza meeting! Hey, Ransom, you want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. I'll take a coupon, as long as I can shove it up your ass. Hey, not cool, man. You shouldn't eat so much pizza. It's getting hard to tell where the costume ends and your skin begins, pizza face. You are being way harsh, dude. Quit it. Seriously, it looks like your dad the pizza. Oh, with that chunky face, I'm guessing he had your mom Chicago style. Ransom, you are such a freaking jerk. Why did you always have to take it too far, huh? This is why you have no friends. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. Ratting to the feds on me, eh? Just order your food and get lost. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap! And I oughta know. I, uh... Gotta go! Huh? 
<sighs> I feel better now. Welcome to the S&D Diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey, now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket, just in case. Here you go, hon. Doesn't look as bad as the hot dog, but looks can be deceiving. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Shut up in there! I do... Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I... Uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Shut up in there! You'll never be able to fill a CD-ROM with game data! Shut up in there! I do not say shut up too much! Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. Not a game. Where did all the orange bits come from? I have not had a carrot in years. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. Oh, Chuck! Oh, that's better. Now to get back to work. Shut up in there! They never even... Any tools for working on starships and bottles and jewelry? I get no satisfaction from chilling objects when no one is around.
Oh, I love carrying stuff. I'm innocent! If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I heard you used to have a watch repair shop. Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Well, let me see it. Well, that's a strange looking watch. Ah, uh, but sure, I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. And turn off that awful noise and play me some theremin music. Willie, here are the tools you wanted. Ah, oh, thanks. Nice tools. I can't turn it off. The knob is missing and the radio's bolted to the cabinet. The sheriff left it on as a form of torture. I'm innocent! Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Here's my watch for you to fix. I can't concentrate over that racket. Uh, you have to change the music to my favorite. I love theremin music. <laughs> I work best when it's playing. Impressive. It's a promotional bank flyer. Open an account today and get a free toaster. It's just after 5 o'clock. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our... One of those fancy new wireless phones. There's no phone number on it. I wish I could get them to stop. It's a small wooden animal figurine. It looks like the old key to the factory, but I can't be sure in this light. Excuse me, Miss Edmund. What are you doing? It's the key to my uncle's factory. I just need to check things out. Miss Edmund, we take our trusteeship jobs seriously here. You know the factories in probate. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. I should wait until he's off the phone. I wish I could get them to stop calling. How can I help, Miss Edmund? Can I borrow the key to the factory? I'm sorry, Miss Edmund. I can't release the key, not even to Mr. Edmund's family. That's too bad, Mr. Apollo. Can I still access the family safe deposit box? I'm afraid not. Your uncle had your access revoked shortly after you left town. 
I guess you can't tell me if my dad made any withdrawals or deposits in the last couple of weeks, either? No. That would be a breach of our client's confidentiality. Fair enough. Do I still have a checking account here? I've been cashing my checks at the convenience store, because I was pretty sure my uncle had control of my accounts. Your uncle did close all accounts associated with your name. I see. What kind of credit can a game developer get? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh... Oh, you aren't kidding. Well, you could get one of our basic federal beige credit cards with a $100 limit and an APR of 1,232%. No way, Jose. I think I'll pass. How are things at the bank? Very well. Thank you for asking, Miss Edmund. I thought maybe with all those businesses closing, the bank might be struggling a little? Oh, not at all. Your uncle had more than enough for us to weather the town's economic downturn. I wasn't aware Uncle Chuck was doing so well. I mean, the pillow factory was closed for years. True, but in his final years, your uncle began liquidating several valuable assets. It was more than enough to keep him afloat. Huh. What assets did my uncle liquidate? I couldn't possibly say, Miss Edmund. Bank client confidentiality and all. Maybe you'll find out more about it at the will reading. Maybe. Goodbye, Mr. El Palo. Come back soon, Miss Edmund. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman School of Mathematics. It's an LFG-1982 tube, in perfect condition. It's a TX-1138 tube, in perfect condition. It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney, Brant Balowick. Payment in full for will and reading.
Hello. I want a free toaster. Is I want a free toaster. These obscene phone calls are getting annoying. We're all out of toasters. Yes, how can I help you, Miss Edmund? Can you help me with this check stub? Oh, yes, this handwriting brings back a flood of memories. Too bad about Mr. Edmund. He was such a wonderful man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, how can I help you? I need a copy of the check that goes with this stub. Yes, I believe I kept all of Mr. Edmund's cancelled checks right here. Here it is. Thank you. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. It's a copy of the check that Chuck wrote to his attorney, Brant Bailiwick. There's a note at the bottom. Paid in full. All things pertaining to the last will and testament of Chuck Edmund, including reading the will. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? I have a cancelled check for you. It clearly says that you were paid by Uncle Chuck to read the will. That it does. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry Pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. I'll need more than a chart to decode this, like maybe a powerful Commodore 64. This isn't working. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. Graphics Basic. An enhanced basic. Unlock the full potential of your computer with over 100 additional English language commands. Now beginning programmers can create complex graphics, animation, and music without being a machine language programming expert. Sounds perfect. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic.
It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the... I'll need more than a chart to decode this. Like maybe a powerful Commodore 64. Let's see... I decoded it from binary and got a bunch of hex numbers. Knowing Uncle Chuck, he would have encrypted the will using the unbreakable exclusive ore and using his lucky number as the key. Okay, here goes! I give up. This is too complex to guess. I need some kind of clue to Uncle Chuck's lucky number. Oh well. Diggin! Okay, here goes. of the bits are irrelevant to cryptography. I'll just bitwise and them away. I did it! I did it! It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Balowick. Here's the decoded will, Mr. Balowick. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. One of Chuck's three stipulations is now fulfilled. The will is decoded. We still need a thimbleberry pie, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. Open an account today, 
and get a free toaster. It fits perfectly. Ah, a Betamax tape. It's a Betamax tape that I can't watch because no Betamax players exist in this town. Blazing Saddles by Mel Brooks. I loved it. Not so sure about the ending.